Tony, welcome to Norwich City. How's your first week been at the club? Yeah, terrific. Yeah, really enjoying it. Um, a bit of a whirlwind and um, after agreeing on a, on a late on a Sunday night at the beginning of last week, straight into it. I'm not ideal in, for the goalkeepers or myself in that I'd missed you know, the first two weeks of pre-season, but uh, now I'm in, I'm, I'm really pleased to be here. It's nice to come away with the team and get to know the staff and players a little better, isn't it? Yeah, I think that, that really does help uh, as a new member of staff because you're, you're around people for 24 hours a day and you get to know people's roles and responsibilities at the club so, and you get to know the players a little bit better and, uh, and the wider group of staff that you know, the, the supporters don't, don't, don't see like yourselves and you know, all the press guys and, and the um, sports science and all of that sort of stuff, so it's, it's important. You've had a, f a week with, with the keepers here, what's, what's your impression of the, of the setup? Yeah, excellent. You know, I mean, I, I come into a, a department that's been well managed, well organised by Dave Watson, and um, you come into working with some top class goalkeepers. You know, I know John and Declan from their days in, in England squads when I was a national coach, and I've been very impressed with Mark Bunn's ability and attitude towards training, and, and Remy Matthews as well has, has really impressed me in the first couple of weeks of being here. You would have worked with some top quality goalkeepers in your time. Where does John sort of rank up in that bunch? Yeah, well, listen, John has John has been ranked in the top amongst the top Premier League goalkeepers now for the last couple of years, and rightly so. His performances, his work ethic, his attitude is uh, is commendable. He, you know, it's one of the reasons that I that I wanted to come to Norwich was to work with the quality that was already here. You know, I don't see any reason that. Uh, John can't get back into the England squad. He certainly has that ability, and from what I've seen on the training ground, has the drive and, and commitment to want to do that as well. You yourself have a lot to bring to the table, lots of experience in the game, including plenty of years at Tottenham and the FA. Yeah, I mean, I've been coaching a long time now, and you know, I had a, had a good uh, six-year stint at Tottenham, working with some, some great goalkeepers as well, and um, hopefully I can bring my experience to the table, not only in terms of the goalkeeping, but you know, in terms of Working with different managers and, you know, working with a new manager here now who's, who's kind of, um, if he ever needs any, you know, we're a team and we have to work as a team for the, for the benefit of the football club. And finally, everyone I've spoken to about yourself has mentioned your UEFA Cup heroics as a player for Tottenham. How often do you get asked about that? Yeah, well, hey, listen, it's, um, it's the highlight of my career, obviously, you know, winning a major trophy when it was a major trophy, UEFA. UEFA Cup, as it was then, was a major trophy, and when we won it back in '84, it was uh, it was certainly a difficult competition to win. So you never get tired of highs like that in your career. Um, but you know, my highs now are watching goalkeepers perform, um, and hopefully, my highs this year will be knowing that John Ruddy's form is as good as ever, and Norwich City are up there challenging to get back into the Premier League.